Pinot Black, folks. And what I wanted to do is show you the F-35 Lightning II. This is what I basically was showing people before. And you look at it and you think, okay, what's the big deal? Okay, it's one of our badass new planes. Yeah, it is a badass new plane. A lot of people don't understand. They First off, they think new plane, stealth, okay. It's not, it is not a Harrier jump jet, okay. Same technology, better, okay. Yes, folks, this thing can land straight down and go straight up and take off, okay. A lot of people don't realize that because the government doesn't talk about it too much. There was, uh, and we do have Harriers. The Marine Corps has a, a couple, and I think probably more, I mean, not just a couple, they have a couple of uh, detachments, let me put it that way. And more than probably, the U.S. government's got more cards than what it always says it has. So, okay. So, let's take a look at a little bit of the stuff on this thing. Okay. There's more you can read to the left. Love data. Facts. Big bad machine. Who needs a car when you can have a stealth plane pops up and down like Batman? Anyway. It ain't cheap though. You can fly away for 122 million dollars, say it to me. Give me a checkbook. We'll get to the juicy stuff here in a second. You can always freeze this and I can save take time, so here we go. Transonic wind tunnel, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. You have not seen anything yet, okay? This is the frequency of that word, folks. It means never really was used until after 1950 something okay word frequency okay how long it's ever been used okay speed having caused by speed approximately equal to that of sound in air at sea level folks and we know we've had plenty of speed able to go to speed of sound for a long time okay so that's just where it begins ladies and gentlemen this thing hauled ass okay a Harrier jump ship is a slug compared to this thing Yes, folks, they even pulled tricks on numbers and design on even the companies that were designing them. So, anybody who tries to sell a secret of the United States military establishment, you don't live very long. So, I guess basically, read the news, watch the news, read the newspapers, people make mistakes. So, you never know who makes a mistake. But anyway, this is a very awesome plane, and I'm going to be able to pop down and give you, uh, you can freeze all this, and there's stuff in, not even on here, but about this. Okay, so, keep scrolling down, and you can lock in on all this, design of it, photos. July 7, 2006. They don't pour anything like that out until they know they got it all good. And basically, here's your thrust vectoring nozzle. Okay? Your lift fan in the front. Okay? So basically, if this is a Harrier jump jet. So you don't want to end up seeing one of these and make someone think that all well, the UFOs have come. Okay? Because we have more than one. Read a lot of this, and I'll even put the link in here. Get the Jacob checked out. Yes, folks, SR-71 Blackbird can go to outer space. What this new one can do? I don't know. It can go to outer space, folks. Commonly the word referred to by any. U.S. pilot, the ass ram, <laughs> the weapons bay, because they push the button, whatever they push the button on, it's dead, ass ram, okay, so anyway, we've got the baddest planes in the world, okay, simplicity for the pilots in there, modern, 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 I don't know, folks, you think that could go to outer space? Who knows? Oh, the SR-71 Blackbird can. We know the Virgin can, right? 
podcast, folks. When you wake up, it's re-entry is where you'll burn up at. Okay? That's correct. So we were told. Seems to be there's some kind of a slip into, back into our uh, array that is like, not eluding anybody that's got a brain, but Yep. So anyway, you know the Virgin goes up there, right? And it comes back. This doesn't go that high, correct? Now, SR-71 Blackbird can go into outer space, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? This thing? Who knows? But it's a pretty badass plane. Now there's its Pratt & Whitney. And yes, the Pratt & Whitney. That's his engine and stuff, so it's not really any secret. They were showing it off in Paris, the air show. So, but you got to buy it from Pratt and Whitney because they got all the secrets. They got all the data down to the NASA ass on one. You got to buy one. Then you got to get approval from the U.S. government to be able to buy one in the first place. So, if you read between the lines, you know how the world spins. There's a couple other fans there you can see there. So, just don't want anybody to be faked out by thinking that there are UFOs. If there is, we blow them out of the sky or capture them. And that's just a joke. Because there is no damn UFOs, folks. All the stuff is out there in space, folks. Okay? All the stuff that you see out in space are planets and objects. Okay. And if we ever get a picture of one that's their actual UFO out there someplace, I'll let you know. Like I showed you the other picture today earlier with Skunk Works. So all these are links that you can freeze and cut and paste. If you got the right software, you can. Okay. Because basically you can just go ahead and go to Wicca. Okay. I just don't like advertising for them. So anyway, sharing and educating. And let's see what we can put in here beside that, which is basically, don't be afraid of UFOs. There's no such freaking thing as UFOs. More truth about what we got and what people don't talk about, folks, is the Raptor. We don't see too much about it. And... Uh, Basically, you're going to see why in a minute, because the numbers that was built, now they say, and what they also say, the next comment. So if you read everything, you realize that no one gets one. And we have 187 of them, somewhere within the grasp of the United States government. Okay? And also, we've got more design characteristics. Okay. We made that many of them and we got them. Don't just read that line very closely. Out of production. Okay. They don't make any more of them. Not going to make any more of them for anybody. Whether we use them or not is a different story. Okay. Got special new radar. As you see, the other one had a little bit more of a simpler. So, when you see a bottom of an airplane like that and so forth, and you think it's a UFO, it's not. U.S. military, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Got stealth. So, it can haul a little bit more and so forth than one of the other ones which basically can go up and down vertical like a Harrier jump jet, okay? Just about everything in U.S. military's planes can uh, yeah, and the Russians are always playing with these folks with their old buffaloes. You can hear them when they take off, okay? And that's why, guess folks, the government can tune in and listen to anything anywhere in the world, okay? You can hear a freaking cricket fart in Antarctica, if it was warm enough to fart, 
because if one did fart down there, they'd go, what the hell, there's a cricket in Antarctica. Okay? So, there's variants of it. And like I say and tried to show earlier before, that the idea that it looks very unusual. Okay? And also, the other one looks very unusual that I showed you. And here's a shot from Florida. And the other shot that I showed you before was from, I thought, Upper East Coast. And I'm probably correct on that since this one's down in Florida. Okay? So if you see something like this, it's not a UFO, ladies and gentlemen. It's your military's new aircraft. And yes, this is what the Russians seen up in Alaska chasing their little buffaloes or any other shit that they got around. Uh, scaring the piss out of them. And yes, folks, if the pilot pulled up on the joystick on this plane, the Russian pilot of that buffalo never even knew it was there. He might have if he looked way crack around his corner on his big old buffalo there. What's that buffalo carry? Nuclear armaments, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? So we always say hi a lot. A lot more than what you think we do, folks. We always say hi to each other every day. And AK, AKA Alaska. AK. You should be proud of your tax dollars, ladies and gentlemen, to keep you free and talking and bullshitting every day, just like me on the internet here with you, showing you what's out there. This thing's ancient. It carries a shit hello, uh, heavy armament, though. I mean, basically, it hauls a lot of shit. But very noisy. They keep on trying to quiet them motors down. They just can't do it. And yes, we still have F-16s, F-14s, Tomcats. Uh, I love the Warthog. Everybody knows about the Warthog. It's great tank buster. Uh, so we got tons of toys, folks. So everything is all hunky, flipping dory. And I'm not going to talk about anything underneath the ocean. And uh, I know nothing about submarines, which is kind of a lie. But we're very safe, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're going to show you the cruising speed of this baby. Cruises at 1,309 miles an hour, folks. Just cruising. I'm going to hit the gas. Maybe 1,713 miles per hour you can go. Maybe. Maybe faster if you got a tailwind. So... Very interesting. So anyway, badass plane. And that height thing we were looking at, that was the other one. And then we look at this one here, and that's the one thing is you got to remember. Stealth and multi-roll. Doesn't mean multi-roll. Well, it can roll really fast. Okay. 1579. How far it can go. And folks, basically what I wanted to show on here was the idea that the last time I heard about a height of Phobos, it was 240-something miles up in the sky, okay? So, Our homosphere is at 53. Our heterosphere is 53 to 41,000 miles. Troposphere is 0 to 7 miles. So on, so forth. Okay? So there's different areas in space that you can get to. Okay? There's more than one layer. Okay? F-18 shot a satellite out of the sky or something like that in space back in like 96 or something like that okay so you got to realize that when you get up this high you're in space okay 11 to 30 miles we'll so scroll back to the data on the planes ladies and gentlemen badass so let's take a peek operational ceiling this is no secrets folks this is not top secret everybody knows it sure can it just can't go any deeper, and it can come back. So you can go up and peek at satellites. You can go peek at a lot of stuff. So be careful where you get your...
Nobody wants to be named.